joining us on today's Nose on Show. I am Janet. <laughs> I am Charlie. And I am Marara. Ha! Okay, wow, Marara, I don't think I've ever heard you roar that loud or that long. Well, I'm just getting ready for the show. Uh, oh. uh, the crown, the crown. What, what, what? I don't, it, does, it doesn't look good. It, it, I, th I think it looks good. I... Really, Marara? Yeah, and it's part of the show today. <gasps> well, you know what? Clearly, we don't have a choice, but we have an hour of fun part stuff right here. Uh, yeah, we do. But to start us off, why don't we go into the chill out zone and meet up with our friends? Marara, bring yeah. your crown. Yes. Yeah, yeah. of course. Rah! Rah! Bah. Hello, everyone. Ah! Now, before we start, why don't we say a big hello to everybody watching us at home? Hello! Now, we are so glad to have you here helping us with the show today. Now, to start us off, who's going to tell us what the buzzwords are all about? It's about wild animals. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Um, Marara, now I understand why you're wearing the crown and you're roaring so loud. Yes. I just had to remind everyone who the king of the jungle is. Ra. Okay, now that uh, we know why Marara is wearing the crown and we know that it's all about wild animals, why don't you tell us what the buzzwords are? Zebra. Gazelle. Rat. Antelope. Well put. Now let's all remember to look out for this buzzwords in today's show. Excellent. But right now, let's go and join our six friends and see what new adventures they're up to. It's time for the Playhouse. Did you see all those awesome animals in the video? Yes, it was wonderful. My favorite was the antelope. Did you see how high it jumped? I like the hippopotamus. I wonder if we'll get to see any when we go on the school trip. Hmm, I read in a book that hippopotamus only come out of the water at night. But I know we'll see a lot of zebras and ants. Look out! I wonder why she's in such a great hurry. Who knows? Now, come on. Let's get to the playhouse and tell Mr. Zip about our wonderful trip to the game park. The class trip is going to be so fun. I can't wait to see all the animals. Are you going to see animals on your class trip? That will be boring. No, it won't. Animals are very cool. And so is the trip to the game park. Maybe for you, but where I come from, the animals are so much better than the animals that you find here. How are they better? Aren't they just gazelles and zebras and rhinos like everywhere else? Of course not. They are bigger where I come from. The antelopes are 20 times bigger than they are here and they have fingers at the end of their horns. What for? So that they can pick up more food from the ground. And the zebras have more than two colors. They have every color of the rainbow. And that is a real game park. And if you're fast enough, you can catch a ride on the animals. That can't be real. There's no way you'll be able to tread on the zebras or the antelopes no matter how big they are. Yes, I'd have to see an animal like that to believe it. I can prove it to you. What are we talking about? Animals again? Yes, Mr. Zebra says the animals way comes from a big enough to ride. And the zebras are multicolored. And I can prove it. My animals are much better. Now, maybe we should draw them and prove that they are. I agree. Let's just draw the animals that we might see and compare them with Mr. Zippo's drawings. Great idea. I get the art book and the pencils. Ha! You just wait. My animals will make your animals 
look like tiny little toys. What's wrong, Theo? I can't find the art things. Did any of you take the art things away? No, I left them right there yesterday after I finished drawing. I saw them there yesterday too. Mr. Zippo, where are they? Um, well, let me think. They were in a blue plastic bag, the one with a red splash on it. Huh, maybe someone needed them more. Wait, that girl who almost ran us over on our way here. She was carrying a blue plastic bag with a red splash on it. That bag is one of a kind. I got it from a circus in Italy. She took our colors? Why? Did you see her, Mr. Zippo? Well, I heard some noise earlier and I thought it was you, so I kept on sleeping. We have to follow her and get our colors back. We don't know if she took them. Let's just follow her and ask her. Well, what are we waiting for? This is where she passed us. And she ran that way. Where would she be going to? Maybe into town? I wish we knew who she was. She went by so fast. I think I found something. Hmm. Maybe it fell off the bag. But we don't know if she did it. Guys, I think I found something else. That was very bad manners, Jen. You should take back those things and apologize. Hey, it's so bad. I'm so sorry, kids. I don't know what happened to her. Jen, tell them you're sorry. I'm sorry I took the things I did not mean to. I just needed something to play with. Don't you have any choice or colors? No, we don't. This is a small children's home. We don't have much. The toys are broken, the art paints are finished. We don't even have paint to do the inside. That is very tough. I can't imagine having nothing to play with. I see you sometimes in a playhouse and I wish I could join you, but I don't have good clothes or, or toys to play with. Even my friends here don't have much to, and I'm really, really sorry. That's all right, Jane. We understand, but you should have asked. Yes, would have shared what we had and come to play here with you. Thank you for being so kind. But we have bigger things to do, like getting rid of the rats in the roof and even painting the wall. Hey, we can help. We love to paint. And I think I know someone who can help you chase the rats in the roof. Yes, let's give them the help they need. We'll, we'll get them to make toys and paint the walls. That would be nice, but I can't ask you to do all that. Don't worry, we are happy to help. Daphne and I will go get Tony so then we can get the toys and the paints. I'll go with Zach and promise. I know my speedy will be happy to help out. all so much. The place is so beautiful now. I'm so happy Mospedia and Tomine were able to help. I'm glad that the people of Makutano were happy to donate their old clothes and toys. And now you can come play with us whenever you want. Your place is so cool now. You may come play here with you and bring Mr. Zippo. Yeah, I bet he's never seen an animal as cool as the rhino we painted on the wall. Maybe, but you said I have to give Jane a present, just to add some color into her life. Here you go, this is for you. Oh, thank you. It's a rainbow colored zebra. I love it. Can we just paint the zebra on the wall just like this one? <laughs> <laughs> From Playhouse, this is Quizzy Quiz. Why were the children excited? The children were excited because they were going on a school trip. What lesson do we learn from the story? 
we learned that we should always help and share what we have with those that do not have. Did you get all the answers correct like Quizzy did? Yes! Excellent! And for you watching us at home, we hope that you are answering the questions just as well as our friends are here. Mara, you seem a bit absent-minded. Mm, yeah. Well, I was just thinking of how juicy antelope's meat is. You know, Marara, just because you're the king of the jungle doesn't mean that you should eat every antelope that you come across, yeah? All right, now, as Marara daydreams about his juicy meat steak, it's time for some of us to go to class. It's time for... Cool Wars! Hello everyone and welcome to Cool Words. Hello, Teacher Pendo. Wow, Teacher Pendo. Yes, Marara. Now, I see you have some pictures of wild animals. Now, what are we going to be learning about today? Aha, uh -huh. now today we shall be learning more about wild animals, their names, how they look, where they live and what they eat. Now, let's begin by you telling me some of the animals that you can identify, where they are found, what they look like and what they will eat. I will then point at the picture of the particular animal. So the first animal, who wants to identify the first animal for us? Yes, Wanjiko? Hippos live in water. That's right. This is a hippo. Now, hippos spend most of their day in water but come out at night to eat grass. Okay, who wants to tell us about the next animal? Yes, Ocheng? Rhinos, they can run faster than a human. That's right. Rhinos run faster than human beings and as you can see, they also have two horns on their heads. Very good. Someone tell us something about these animals. Yes, Kenyanjui? Elephants, they live in groups. That's right. And the groups are called herds. Now, elephants can live for up to 60 to 70 years. Okay, what about the next animal? Oh, oh Tichapendo. Yes, Marara. That looks like a cheetah. And cheetah can run as fast as a car. Aha, that's right. And most people find cheetahs very beautiful. Excellent. What can you tell me about this animal? Yes, Odiso? Antelope. Aha. That's right. And it has a light brown coat and long twisted horns. That's right. And antelopes also have to run very fast because animals such as cheetahs and uh, leopards and the likes of the Marara family, the lions, always want to eat them. Okay. Now next, I would like us to use the word like to compare some of these animals. For example, a donkey looks like a horse. Now, who would like to go first? Yes, Wanjiko? An antelope looks like a goat. Ha, ah, that's right. An antelope looks like a goat. Very good. What about a zebra? Oh, Tichapendo. Yes, Marara. A uh, zebra looks like a donkey. Aha, uh -huh, that's right. Okay. And what about a crocodile? Yes, a chair? A crocodile looks like a le lizard. Excellent. That's an excellent comparison. Okay, what about the cheetah? A cheetah looks like a cat. Aha, uh -huh, brilliant. And what about a hair? A hair looks like a rabbit. Excellent. I like all your comparisons. I'm sure you also agree with these comparisons. Now, next, we are going to look at questions that use the word like. Marara, can you run like an antelope? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 no, I can't. <laughs> okay. Wanjiko, can you swim like a crocodile? Yes, I can. Okay, we can only prove that when we see you swimming. Well done, all of you. Well, I hope you can join us later for more cool words. Right now, it's time to find out what my speedy is up to. That's right. It's time for Out There. Hello, everyone. Today, I have a very big surprise for you. Come on, let's go! Once again, there is so much for us here to see today. As the Kenya National Museum is the heart of our national heritage and culture, 
And my friend Mwai tells me that if you want to learn more about Kenya's history, culture and science, this is the place to be. There are so many interesting things here. But as usual, the animal kingdom excites me the most. Especially when I'm learning about these wonderful animals that live around us. I love all animals. The ones who live on land, the ones who live in the water, and even the flying ones. Among the animals that live on the land, I found the zebra to be the most beautiful. But how do you tell a zebra from any other animal like the gazelle and the antelope? Well, no animal has a more unique skin cover than the zebra. When you spot a horse-like animal with black and white stripes, it's the zebra. Does this mean that all zebra stripes are the same? Each zebra has its own unique pattern of these unique stripes. Just as human beings have their own different patterns of fingerprints. Do you know what they use the stripes for? I am told that the stripes help them confuse any animal that may be wanting to attack, like the lions. So, do zebra stripes confuse zebras as much as they confuse the lions? Funny enough, while the stripes make zebras impossible to tell apart to other animals, zebra stripes actually help them recognize one another. Stripe patterns are like zebra fingerprints. Every zebra has a slightly different arrangement. A gazelle, on the other hand, is a small type of antelope, famous for its grace and speed. Evidently, animals too have their own way of doing things, and it is very interesting. For example, keeping themselves warm with fur on their skin. Hey, look! <laughs> Our clothes are so much different. From long time ago, man and animals have lived together. And my friend Mwai tells me that from a deep observation, almost everything that a man is or has attempted to do, an animal somewhere has already done it. And so, most often than not, we tend to borrow from the animal's behavior. For example, the water world. Thousands of people learn to swim every day. And by doing so, they copy the water creature's way of doing things. Their movement, position, and general body structure. Just like fish or any other swimming water animal, human beings try and swim the same way. Another interesting observation is the man's flying objects, like the aeroplanes, the kites, and even the gliders. And just like bats and birds, one is able to fly gracefully over heights, something that really amazes many, including me. Bats are very special animals, and that's why man designs kites and other flying things, copying the bird's body arrangement. Flying squirrels are flying animals too, but they don't really fly. They jump from high up in the tree and glide through the air like a kite. Hey, have you ever heard the name of a naked mole rat? <laughs> Mwai tells me that these rats are found in East Africa and they live completely underground. They feed on underground roots, so they just dig their way around. And in comparison, Mwai tells me that man has also constructed the railway line using the same concept as the naked mole rats, especially on difficult grounds like this one here. When you curl up to go to sleep, you are just getting comfortable and warm. But for animals like pangolin and hedgehog, curling up is for protection. They roll into a ball to hide themselves as the spikes protect them. And this scares the enemies away. And just like these animals, man has learned to create weapons of war. Things like shields, bows and arrows for hunting and protection. Okay, now let's look at the cheetah. Just like the zebra, Different sport decoration on the cheetah's coat 
make each one unique. The cheetah is the world's fastest land mammal, but it cannot run for long distances. So, is man curious? Yes, he is. He has created a short distance race. For example, the 100 meters race. And every day he is working to getting better to eat as the cheetah. Have you ever heard of Hussein Bolt? Well, I bet man is also trying his best to catch up as he learns more from the cheetah's magic. Looks like there's so much we can learn from the animals by just observing them. So let's take good care of them. Till next time, goodbye, goodbye. I loved Masfede's trip. Wait, what about you, Mara? Oh, yeah, I loved it too, Janet. Hey, I loved it as well. It was a really excellent trip. But right now, it's time for us to change gear and for Marara to get us excited as we play with our numbers. That's right. It is Marara's shopping list. Ha! Hola! Marara's shopping list. Marara's shopping list. Welcome to Marara's shopping list. That's right. Now, I have been given a shopping list by my mom. She says it's for my friend's birthday. But I don't have the right amount of things. I'm not sure. I, I... Easy, Marara. You know we are definitely going to help you. Of course we're going to help you, Marara. And we're going to do it especially well because it's your friend's birthday. Now, the list is very simple. There are one, two, three, four four items on the list. Now you will each take turns to get all of the items on this list by getting stuff from the market and then taking it into Marara's basket. That's right. Now after your turn, you have to go back to the number team, tag the next team member like this. Come on, tag me, can you enjoy? Thank you very much. So that they can go up to the market and help you get the next item. Now remember, you have to make sure you do this before the market closes. Now, when you help me get my shopping list right, you do not go home empty-handed because you take away these fabulous books back to your school. Yes, you do. And not forgetting that Marara has some very special prizes for each one of you. Now, the question is, number team, are you ready? Yes! Oh, I know what that sound means. It means that the market is about to close. Kinyanjui team leader, off you go. All right, Kinyanjui, the first item on the list is five chocolate bars. How many chocolate bars do I have? One. One. How many more do I need to make five? How many more? How many more? How many more? Help me. Four. 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 Are you sure that five? Sure? How many more? Sure How many more do I need to make nine? Hey, 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 hey. How many more do you need to add to make nine? Three! 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 That's it, that's it. All right, the third item is 12 pieces of candy. How many pieces of candy do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. How many more do I need to make 12? How many does she need? How many, how many, how many, how many? Help her. How many? Help her. many, Help her. many, Help her. many, Help her. many? Five! 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 The final item is four packets of chewing gum. Four packets of chewing gum. How many packets of chewing gum do I have? Two. Two. How many more do I need to make? Four. Two. Two. Go to the market. Get out! All right. Oh. Oh. Time is up. The market has closed, Charlie. Wow. That <laughs> was a super exciting edition of Marara's shopping list. Now, let's find out if the team helped Marara fulfill his birthday wishes. All right, 
Ah, oh, first item, you know, I'm sorry, I, I just, I love this game. It's, ooh, it's got me really excited. Now the first item is five chocolate bars. That's five chocolate bars. Now Marara only managed to get one chocolate bar by himself. So how many chocolate bars would you have to add for him to have all five? Four, four. Four? Are you sure? Yes. Oh, big confidence. Yes, there, Marara. How many chocolate bars did you get? Oh, let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four. Well Ooh. done, team. Congratulations, that is correct. One plus four equals five chocolate bars. So, Marara, you are very lucky. The team is looking sharp. Now, the second item on the list is nine lollipops. That's nine lollipops. Now, on his own, Marara only managed to get six. So, how many lollipops would you have to add for him to have nine? Three! Three! Three, a big confident three. How many lollipops did they bring you, Marara? Well, let's see. Um, that's one, two, three. They've got well three. Well done, wow. team. Congratulations. That is correct. Six plus three is equals to nine. You're doing very well so far. We have two more questions. Now, the third question is 12 pieces of candy. Now, Marara needed to get 12 pieces of candy. He only managed to get seven on his own. How many would you have to add for him to have all 12? Five. 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 A big confident five. Marara, how many pieces of candy did the team bring you? I think they're right. I have one, two, three, four, five. Well done, team. Congratulations. That is absolutely brilliant. Those are three sums already, there's one left. Let's hope you got this one right. Now, Marara needed to get four packets of chewing gum. Four packets of chewing gum. He only managed to get two on his own. So how many would you have to add for him to have all four? Two! Ooh, big confident two there, Marara. How many packets did the team bring you? And they are right once again, Charlie, they brought Two packets of chewing well gum. Well done, team! Congratulations. Now, two plus two is equal to four packets of chewing gum. Now, from what I can see, there are five chocolate bars, nine lollipops, 12 pieces of candy, and four packets of chewing gum. You got all the sums correct. Let's give them a round of applause. Well done. Now, team leader, can you enjoy? please step forward? Uh, here are some fabulous textbooks for you to take back to your school. Come on, show everyone at home and let's clap for them again. And that is not all. You each get a storybook for helping me do the shopping list for my friend's birthday. Come and get okay. your storybooks. Come, come, come. It's official. I'm torn in between number pool and Mara's shopping list. I don't know, man. Everything <laughs> gets me running, everything gets me going, and I love it. But it's time for us now to change direction and see what's happening with our friend Dunia. It's our world. everyone, I am Dunia and today we are learning about Nairobi and the X River. Nairobi is an unusual city. Originally, Nairobi was just a resting place with water. In fact, the name Nairobi comes from a Maasai phrase and Kare Nairobi, which means cold water. Nairobi grew into a capital city by accident. Back before all the buildings and people, Travelers would stop in Nairobi to rest and drink from its fresh, beautiful streams which had delicious water. And back then, it was completely wild and covered with forests. Nairobi itself has no major river, but many small streams that make up what is known as the Nairobi River. These streams are so small that people sometimes may not notice them or know that they are an important part of the Nairobi River. Some people see the streams as a place to dispose all their waste. And this is the worst thing humans could do to a river. 
and has led to many problems such as now having no clean drinking water because we made our delicious water source dirty. As Nairobi city grew, more people began to dispose the waste into these streams. The water became so dirty that scientists came to see the destruction that people were causing. They discovered that the waste was making the river very sick. All the fish that used to happily live and swim through the rivers had died. All the delicious clean water that we used to drink was now making us sick because of all the pollution. What people did not think about is, whenever they throw something into a stream, it will float downstream. People now living downstream will have that waste in their water. And this is not a very kind or neighborly thing to do. University scientists do lots of tests to find a way to clean the river and also find out who's polluting it. They are trying to educate more people not to put their waste into the streams so that the river will start feeling better and life will return in the future. The scientists found out that the main waste comes from people's homes, latrines, factories, and also chemicals like pesticides that wash off the farms in the rain and drain into the rivers. So you see, the water has been attacked by human activity. Other living things that used to call the river its home have been poisoned and killed by these wastes. One way of seeing how healthy the river is, is to see how many creatures are surviving in it. These numbers fall to zero in the dead streams that flow through the industrial area where there is a lot of human activity. It seems strange that we continue to hurt ourselves by polluting our environment. However, the river does not give up. And as it flows out of the city and back into land where there are less humans, it starts a long process of repairing and cleaning itself. The cleaning up of our rivers will only be successful when everyone becomes a good neighbor and understands that other people live downstream. We need to pick our rubbish out of the rivers and find other ways to dispose of our latrines and rubbish bins. I hope in your lifetime you will be respectful of the water and your neighbors downstream. Let us start today. Let's stop polluting our streams. This way, our generation will be the first and the best at restoring our natural world back to how it should be. See you next week for more about our world. Bye! I love Dunia. She always makes the world seem so beautiful. Now to our friends, did you all enjoy that? Yes! Well, I hope you two at home had fun learning more about our world. Now, we still have a lot of fun with words and numbers still to come, but first up, we have to take a short break. So don't go too far. The No Zone will be right back. Welcome back to the No Zone, the place where we have fun as we learn. Now today's show is all about wild animals. Oh, oh clearly Maya is jolly excited, but please, first up, let's remind everybody what the buzzwords are. Zebra. Gazelle. Rat. Antelope. Excellent! That was very, very good. Now, all of our buzzwords are teaching us about wild animals, so listen up for them throughout today's episode. Now, that buzzer means that it's time for one thing. It's time for... Hot Numbers! Hot, 
Hello everyone and welcome to Hot Numbers. Hello Teacher Pendo. Whoa, Teacher Pendo. Yes, Mara. Now, last week I had a great time shopping and at least I got to practice how much to pay and how much my balance should be. Well, unfortunately, I could not buy what I really, really wanted. What did you really want to buy, Marara? Well, um, I wanted to buy a zebra. Do you know how hard it is to always hope that my mother and aunties will have a successful hunt? <laughs> well, Marara, I think it might make it easier if you helped your mother and your aunties. Well, I, I don't think so. You know, having zebras in the market will make life really much easier. <laughs> All right, Marara, today I would like to introduce the lesson for the day. We will be looking at the days of the week and the months of the year. Now, how many days are there in a week? Yes, Liban? There are seven days in a week. Excellent. Now, there are seven days in a week. Could you tell us which day it is today? Yes, Jenze? Saturday. Very good. If today is Saturday, yesterday was? Yes, I did. Friday. Very good. Yesterday was Friday. Today is Saturday. What day will it be tomorrow? Yes, Boku? Sunday. Excellent. Now, tomorrow will be Sunday. Marara, could you please tell us the days of the week starting from Sunday? Oh, yes. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Wait, wait, wait. I started on Sunday. That's right, Marara. Now, which days do we go to school? Could we say them in unison? Let's start. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Well done. Now, which day comes before Thursday? Yes, Boku? Wednesday. Very good. Now, which day comes after Monday? Yes, Aide? Tuesday. Well done. Now, which day comes in between Wednesday and Friday? Yes, Jenze? Thursday. Excellent. Now, which is the first day of the week? Sunday. Aha, very good. Now, remember, there are seven days in a week, and Sunday is the first day of the week. Now, to finish on days of the week, let's all say the days of the week starting from Sunday. So, let's start. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Very good. We will now look at the months of the year. My first question is to you, Marara. How many months are there in a year? Well, there are... Um, January, March, April... Oh, there are 12 months in a year. That's right, Marara. There are 12 months in a year. Now, on the board here, I have all the months with me. Okay. Now, I want you to note that the months do not have the same number of days. All right. Now, let's all say the months of the year together. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, December. Well done. Now, which is the first month of the year? Liban, which is the first month of the year? January. Very good. Now, in a year, the school is divided into three terms. My first question is, which months do we go on school holiday? Yes, Jenze? April, August, December. Very good. And which is the sixth month of the year? Yes, Aide? June. Very good. Uh, Boku, which month does your birthday fall in? May. May, very good. And hope you will get a birthday cake in May. Okay, we will all say the months of the year one more time. So let's say together. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Well, that brings us to the end of Hot Numbers. I'm sure we all had fun. Remember to practice the days of the week and the months of the year at home. Oh, I know I will, Teacher Pendo. Great, Marara. Well, I hope you're all feeling creative because it's time for us to find out what's happening in Creative Zone. Welcome to Creative Zone. As always, when we get into the dancing zone, we get very active. Now let's see what our dancing buddies have for us. 
Well, Janet, that is called ballet. Well, Sammy, it looks different from what we've had before, but I will admit ballet is a very beautiful dance and I will leave you to it. For you watching us at home, have fun as you join in. Our own dancer, Dan, is going to help you learn some few movements. And first step? Put a bra. Second step? A la seco. Third step? A la third. Fourth step? A la fourth. Fifth step? A la fifth. And release. Nice, very good. And now we are going to close our feet and turn out. Second position, third position, fourth position, fifth position, and up, 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 up and release. Okay, so we are going to do it with music. Porta bra. A la seco. A la third. A la fourth. A la fifth. And down. Close your feet. Turn out. Second position. Third position. Fourth position. Fifth position. And relevate up. Relevate up. 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 And down. Prepare for attitude. And up. Up, up, and one, two, three, four. Okay, that's it. I hope you had fun and learned something. We are going to continue dancing while you join Charlie, Marara, and Janet in the chill out zone. And preparation. Porta bra. A la seco. A la third. A la fourth. A la fifth. And down. Close your feet. Turn out. Second position. Third position. Fourth position. Fifth position. You know, I really love the creativity in Creative Zone. It just uh, seems to be getting better every week. I know yeah, uh, what you're talking about. It was pretty amazing. And we hope you at home also had a lot of fun with it. Yes, I, I, I also, I, 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 I tried. Wait, 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 wait. What is happening here? What, come on, tell me. No, I'm, I can't hear anybody. I don't hear anything. Let's continue, right? Yeah, let's finish this. Oh, you were saying it's something about it's time. Oh, right? yeah. You know what? It's actually time for us to go and play with words and letters. Oh, yeah. It's time. It's time for spell it! <laughs> it is time for spell it! Who's the king now? Who's the king? Charlie, Who's the king? Who's the... Charlie, what? focus. What? Are you ignoring, Are you ignoring me? Are you trying to... What? Someone... Animal, animal, chapter, building, narrow, building. respect, Meter. respect. deep, vegetable, work, work, work. Work and you spell it. Now this is the place where we play with our words and our letters. Liban. Boku. Jenze. And Aide. You are about to step out of the shadows and into the spotlight to compete for the title of today's Nose on Spelling Champion. Now, the winner of today's competition will win their school a Nose on Dictionary and a very special prize for themselves. Now, each contestant has just 25 seconds to spell correctly as many words as they can. If you would like a word repeated, simply say repeat and the word will be repeated for you. Are the rules clear? 
Yes. yes. Are the rules clear? Yes. yes. Thank you very much. Now, all of today's words will be coming from our topic of... Ooh, wild animals. Ah. Oh, wild animals. Now, that means it's something that Marara is very excited about, and we hope you are just as excited as he is. Now, let's get straight into the competition. Liban, you're up first. Come on down and step in the spotlight. Wild animals, wild animals, wild animals. Liban, your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. Far. F-A-R. Cat. C-A-T. Lion. L-I-O-N. Horn. H-O-N. Swim. S-W-I-M. Whale. Repeat. Whale. W E double L. Grace. Oh, well, well, done. Well, done. Well, done. Well, done. well done. Back. Boku, you're up next. Come on down and step in the spotlight. Wild animals, wild animals, wild animals. Boku, your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. Rat. Rat. R A T. Dog. D O G. Hair. H A I R. Bud. B A D Hunt H A N D S Mouse Repeat again Mouse Well right, done Right, right, well, 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 well done Jenze, it's your turn now. Come on down and step in the spotlight. Wild animals, wild animals. Jenze, your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. Zoo. Repeat. Zoo. Z, Z double O. Ant. A N T. Tail. T A I L. Game. J J G A M A. Well right. done, Jenze. Well done. Well done. Ide. It's your turn now. Come on down, step in the spotlight. Aide, <laughs> your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. Fly. F-I-L. Ear. E-Y-E. Pack. P-A-R-K. Skin. S K I N Wild W I L D Rhino All right well done yeah. Ide well done Well done everyone Charlie mm -hmm. please reveal the result All right now everybody did very well it was very close but there can only be one winner I'll start with you Ide Now Ide you ran out of time spelling the word rhino, that's R-H-I-N-O. And although Janet asked you to spell the word ear, which is E-A-R, you might have been a bit nervous. You spelled the word I, E-Y-E. -E. Nonetheless, you spelled three words correctly. Let's give him a round of applause. Well done, Aide. Well done. Gen Z. Now, Gen Z, you misspelled the word hide. And although you got some of the letters right in the word game, some of them were sounds, it should have been G-A-M-E. Nonetheless, Gen Z, you got three words correct. Let's give them a round of applause. Boku. Now, Boku, Janet asked you to spell the word bird, that's B-I-R-D. You spelled the word bad, B-A-D. And although you spelled the word hair, H-A-I-R, correctly, the word that Janet asked for was hair as in wild animal, like a rabbit, that's H-A-R-E. Nonetheless, you spelled two words correctly. Let's give a round of applause. Well done, Boku. And finally, Liban. Now, although you spelled the word horn incorrectly, it should have been 
H O R N, and you should have spelt the word whale W H A L E. You spelt one, two, three, four words correctly. Well, which means that the winner of today's nose and spelling competition with a strong four words spelled correctly is Levon. Step forward. Congratulations. You are today's no zone spelling champion. Here is your dictionary. Show everyone at home your dictionary. A round of applause. All right. Step on back. Step back. Very well done. Very well done, all of you, for spelling so many words correctly. And for that, you each get a storybook. Come and get your storybook. Come, come, come. Now that was actually a very serious round of spelling. I know what you mean, and I know the perfect way for us to cool down. Let's join Teacher Pendo in the Learning Zone for more cool words. Cool words, cool, cool words. Welcome back to Cool Words. Now that we have made comparisons between different animals, we should be able to tell them apart. I will point at a picture and ask you a question. In my question, I will use the word or okay yes. now once you have answered the question it's up to you to ask another question in the same way do you all understand yes, yes. Oh, great so let's begin is this a zebra or a donkey yes wanjiko zebra aha uh -huh, very good why don't you ask yours is this a snake or a crocodile it is a crocodile aha uh -huh, very good is this a hippo or a Elephant. Hippo. Well, yes, it does look like a hippo. Uh -huh. Now, is this a rabbit or a mouse? It is a mouse. Uh -huh, very good. And how did you know the difference, Kanyanjui? Which one is smaller? Mouse. Uh -huh, that's right. A mouse is smaller than a rabbit. Very good. Continue, Kanyanjui. Ask yours. Is this a buffalo or a rhino? It is a buffalo. Excellent job, everyone. You all make it seem so easy. Now, why don't you practice writing sentences using like and or? Well, that's all we've got time for today on Cool Words, but I hope to see you next time for more fun with words. Right now, though, I think we all deserve a story. That's right. It's time for Story Zone. <laughs> This is the story, the discovery. Enjoy. The world. How did it all begin? Well, a myth is a traditional story that usually tries to explain the history of the world. For long periods of time, ancient scrolls were written down to colorful drawn art on the walls of caves and pyramids trying to explain it all. There was a time when everyone believed the world to be flat and that if you ran past the edge of it, you would simply fall off into a galaxy of darkness sprinkled with diamond stars. Zadok, the young zebra, was no exception to this belief. But on one hot sunny day, all that was about to change. Feeling the need to quench his thirst, Zadok ran over to the riverbed, filled with many wild animals, widespread. Hello, antelope, Zadok said, approaching him. But the frightened little antelope ran off. Hmm, strange. Zadok thought, then put his hooves into the river stream so as to cool off. Ah, just the thing I needed, Zadok said. And just as he was about to put his head into the water to drink, he saw something slither within. Oh my! Zadok jumped out in fright. Oh, I am so sorry to have scared you. The funny looking thing said, slithering within as its body floated towards the surface. Who, who are you and what are you? Zadok asked as he shook in his skin. My friends call me Butter. And 
I am your classic catfish. He said as he stroked his whiskers and grinned. Butter, Zadok said. Oh, I like that name. But where do you come from? For I've never seen anyone who takes such an unusual form. He asked. Butter thought about it, then said. I've been to so many places around the world that it's just hard for me to say where exactly I'd call home. Around the world? Zadok asked. But isn't the world flat? He added while looking very confused. The question made Butter laugh. Flat? What do you mean, Zebra? The world is round and curved all the way around, like the sun or the moon up in the skies. Zadok thought about it when a little voice chopped out. I've also had that too. They both turned to see an old speckled rat who continued to say, and if I were young like you, I'd sure be interested to know if it were true. Well, Zebra, if you're willing to know, I can show you just how round it goes, Butter said. Zadok looked at Butter and said, Let's go! This sounds like it's going to be an exciting discovery. As soon as Zadok's mother granted him permission, off he went running along the river stream, chasing after Butter, who glided by with such calm and ease. Zadok ran past baobab trees where a troop of gazelle lay about in the dust waiting for the sun to hit dusk. Down into deep valleys and over the tops of high hills, the adventure took them to places he'd never seen. And the farther they went, the world just didn't seem to end. Now do you see that the world is as round as a big old pea? Butter said. They had arrived at the edge of the sea and what lay before them was a horizon more than Zadok had ever seen. I might believe it now, Zadok said, when he saw a ship sail from the horizon heading towards them. Within it was a captain mouse leading his seamen. The ship docked and out came the captain. Ah, oh, he said, it's been a long time since I was on these fine shores. Excuse me, sir, Zadok said. I hope you don't mind, but where are you from? The Captain Mouse took one look at him, then said, I've sailed the seven seas and been all around the world, but there's no place like home, and this is where I'm from. Zadok and Bata watched the mouse walk off and then turned back to look beyond the shores. Well, Butter, Zadok said, I want to say thank you for showing me that there is more to the world than I've ever known. Together, they sat there and watched the sun set down. Zadok was happy to find out this new discovery. The end. From the story zone, this is Queasy Quiz. What is the name of the catfish? The catfish's name is Butter. How many seas had Captain Mouse travelled? Captain Mouse had travelled through seven seas. I love our man Quizzy, he's so smart. Now, did you all answer the questions correctly just like Quizzy? Yes! Fantastic. Well, we hope you at home also had an easy time answering those questions. Now, it was really lovely to have you with us on the show today. Now, make sure that you join us for another fan-packed edition of The Nozo next week where we'll be playing with our words and our numbers. Now, come on everyone, let's say goodbye. Bye! Bye!